Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Mom. We'll be continuing with our presentations today. The presentation uh, rubric will be shared with you in just a minute. So we'll be using that to grade your teams. And remember, each presenter needs to have their camera on as they're presenting. All right, we're gonna continue with group number three. Chelsea, is your group ready? Yes, ma'am. One moment, miss. Okay. Okay, miss. I am um, Miss Randine, who's supposed to present, is nothing as yet. I will have to um, message her right now. Okay, I'm going to quickly do the attendance while you message her. All right, so yes, well. if you're here, kindly respond. Tyler? Melanie? Hello, my name is I'm here. One? Santiago, Kaylee, present Miss, Leonce, yeah. Araceli, Alyssa, here, Kyler, yeah. Ronell, here Miss, Daniel, Henroy, here, Miss. Here, Miss. Fidel, here, Miss. Kivani, present. Dijon, present. Miriam, here, Miss. Kyra, good night, here, Miss. Sophia. Chelsea? Yes, ma'am. Cheyenne? Jenny? Here, miss. Thank you. Kenya? Here, miss. Xiomara? Here, miss. Brandon? Present. Anthony. Here, Miss. Martha. Here, Miss. Tamika. Present. Kerwin. Here, Miss. Sandra. Present. Vashti. Kian. Here, Miss. And Randine. Present, Miss. Okay. All right. So you guys can go ahead. The floor is yours. Are you guys seeing my screen? Yes. Okay. Good night, class. My name is Randine Williams. My group members are Chelsea Utley, Kenra Mirano. Melanie Bowen and Ronel Magana. We will be presenting on MIS Practical Project 3, Identifying Opportunities for Strategic Information System with a focus on universities. I have here the University of Belize mission and vision, which everyone is familiar with. With effectively using the website as an information system, 
the institution is being able to achieve its mission and vision by attracting potential customers, keeping the public informed, effectively carrying out communication, and using it as a medium to execute learning. How the University of Belize uses the web. The University of Belize have created a website with several pages, which include the home page, which consists of news articles about activities at UB, online campus, which is Moodle, student and faculty email, student portal, and Kobola e-library. We have the About Me page, which consists of information on the history, mission, and vision, president blogs, annual report, campus location, leadership and governance, and UB partners. We have the academic page, which consists of information on academic facilities, center and institutes, and student forms. We have the admission page, which consists of information about the application process, program requirements, new student enrollment, tuition and fees, and finance and education. We also have the student affairs page, which, which consists of information about UB services and programs. And lastly, we have the news and events page. So this is how the University of Belize website looks and how it is being used. The online information systems that can be accessed through UB website include Moodle, Zenigrade, and Google App Suite. Both lecturers and students utilizes these systems to get work done. Moodle is a learning management system which allows lecturers to, to lecture classes online and for students to attend. Students can do assessments and keep track of their grades. It can be used for communication and students have access to online materials. Zenigrade. Zenigrade can be used to post and keep track of grades students registration, produce and retrieve invoices and access records of payments. And also we can access calendar of events on Zenigrade. Google Suite app. Students and lecturers use it to perform many daily tasks. If effect, it is effective when working in groups. Users have access to Google Sheets, Google Sites, Google Slides, Google Meet, search engine, maps, YouTube, and many other features when using Google App Suite. Information technology and organization influence each other. The relationship between organization and technology is complex. It is influenced by several mediating factors. These include the environment, culture, structure, business processes, politics, and management decisions. Business processes. Business processes is a flow of materials, information, knowledge, a logically related set of tasks that define how specific business tasks are performed. At UB, we have external and internal business processes. External business processes include registration, admission, deferred admission, graduation, program change, registering for a business for a full class, late registration, book rentals, drop and add withdrawal. The internal processes at UB include standard operating procedure to update website, to review website accuracy, for organization of Moodle to troubleshoot Zenigrade, and for using Moodle to lecture classes. These processes can either be considered as an asset or a liability, depending on how well it works. If it is successful, it is considered an asset. If it's not successful, it will be considered as a liability. We also have structure and politics. Structure. The University of Belize falls under professional bureaucracy, command and control. The University of Belize is a school system whose knowledge base and education service is dependent on the expertise and knowledgeable lecturers. How it is 
organized between faculty and staff is, a, is as follows. Moodle is controlled by lecturers. Zenigrade is controlled by admission, and it's also controlled by the records and finance department. Politics. As a huge institution with several faculties and multiple lecturers, and each faculty having their chair, it's harder to reach to one agreement when implementing information systems. Politics is a game of rivalry and conflict, and there are internal politics at UB. Politics in UB is a competitive nature. Several academics aspire to become deans. At UB, deans and chairs alternate, and there is rivalry for the position of chair. Organizational reform is hampered by political opposition. As a result, the failure of information system may be attributed to people resistance to change. We also have culture and environment. Culture is defined as a fundamental set of shared understandings among a, an organization that is influenced by decision-making and are shared and passed on to new members. The University of Belize culture includes hiring qualified lecturers and promote ethical code of conduct through implementation of rules and regulations. One of the University of Belize's goal is service and technological advancement. For example, UB is now providing master's degree in business management and is now providing online learning. The environment. The University of Belize have several campuses countrywide. We cater to a wider culture of young adults and working class part-time students. Students are able to feel a sense of freedom and safety. We have a variety of groups or clubs and sporting act activities on campus. We have professional and well-educated faculty, and there is availability of internet and online materials for learning. Management decisions. Decision-making is influenced by the board of trustees. This includes the chairman, president, and some faculty leaders, and person from within the government. Decision-making is made on the basis of employees, customer satisfaction and profit profitability of the institutions. Some decisions that were made in the past include providing online classes, more pro programs, affordable and affordable tuition class. Impacts of business features on information system versus information system level of success. How the business features impact the successful implementation and utilization of the information systems. Structure. We see it as manageable because UB falls under professional bureaucracy, command and control, which works fine in an educational institution. However, there is still room for improvement. Business processes. We see it as challenging because students experience difficulties with the application and payment processes because it is time consuming and inefficient. Politics. We see it as challenging because there is competition for leadership roles in the institution. Whenever political parties change, the board of trustees change in at UB since UB is quasi-government. Culture. We see it as manageable because the university is open to service enhancement and technological advancement and has effective rules and regulations in place to enforce ethical conduct and professionalism. However, there is no room for improvement. The environment, we see it as manageable because UB promote a healthy and social, healthy social and physical environment through safety, freedom, branching out and creating to and creating great opportunities for students to learn. However, there is still room for improvement. Management decisions. We see it as challenging because it is done by a board of trustees that changes frequently. It's every time when the government change and they tend to have different views. Students also experience difficulties when, when registering for some courses due to chair approval is often needed. 
how successful the information systems are. Moodle, Zenigrate, and Google Apps are all seen, Google Apps Suite are all seen as an asset because they are very, because they are also successful. However, they are rated differently due to their level of performance. Moodle, we rate it as being moderately successful because it doesn't work 100% effectively. There are situations where the Moodle platform doesn't work at all. There are issues with the gradebook. Information on Moodle is not always up to date. It can be inaccurate. Some teachers do not use it at all. Due to the inconsistent usage and lack of organization, it does not achieve collaborative learning effectively. Zenigrate and Google Suite app, we see it as very successful. It is user-friendly and efficient. We're able to work individually and in groups, achieving many tasks. My recommendations for the University of Belize in regards to the infer information system. We will recommend the implementation of an enterprise information system. We recommend it because this, is, this system is cross-functional. It can be used across department and it's more reliable and efficient because it is fast, eliminates mistakes, double entries, or repetition of tasks. The enterprise system links executive staff, customers, and supplier to one system. I also recommend that students and lecturers recognize the importance of technology and adapt to changes in technology. This will lead to information system being effectively utilized, students being very productive, and the institution achieving its mission and vision. We'll now move on to the summary. Okay, good night, guys. Um, the conclusion or the summary would be the online information system that can be you can be accessed through UB website includes Moodle, Zenigrade, and Google Apps Suite. In conclusion of this presentation, we mentioned the entire process of the U University of Belize system, with all and what all it entails of, and how well does it work. On the other hand, as we may know, a lot of systems that use the technology basis would need to improve while the years go by because of the enhancement going on with technology. Some recommendations were mentioned by Ms. Randine, and we, the group, think that those were best fit for the University of Belize information system. Thank you. Any questions? There is our references, and that's the end of our presentation. Thank you, group number three. All right, so you guys can go ahead and tally the points while group number four gets their slides uh, ready to share. The link is in the chat. All right, group four, you can go ahead. OK. 
Okay, so good night, class. My group members, Kian Williams, Cheyenne Perez, Antonio Romero, Fidel Martinez, and myself, Ivana Matu, will be presenting on identifying opportunities for strategic information system with a focus on the University of Belize. Okay, so the description of the organization, the structure is professional bureaucracy. Business processes is classified as an asset or liability. The politics is competitive, culture is traditional values and innovation, environment, physical and social environment, management decision, which is structured, which my group and I will further, further be explaining in the following slide. Starting with the structure, UB falls under the professional bureaucracy where the operating for and standard standardization of skills dominate the organization. The goals of professional bureaucracy are to innovate and provide high quality services. Information system often reflects the organizational structure because not everybody in UB uses Google Meeting. For example, some lecturers use Zoom to conduct their classes. And then the lecturers control Moodle and denigrate by admission. Next slide, please. Here we can see um, we have a layout of UB's um, organogram. So the university is headed by the board of trustees and the chairman of the board. Um, and then below that, we have the president and the vice president. The president oversees the administration department, which administration, which includes finance, external relations, physical plant, quality assurance. Um, the ICT department, public safety, human resources, and the marketing and communications department. And then the vice president oversees the deans and directors of the university. So under the deans, we have the Office of Student Affairs, the registrar's office, which is um, the records office, the admissions office, and then as well the academic departments, the faculty of science and technology, um, the Faculty of Management and Social Sciences, the Faculty of Health Science and Education and Arts, and then the directors we have um, are responsible for the university's Toledo campus, the Environmental Research Institute, the Regional Language Center, and the Central Farm campus. Next slide, please. So the business processes at the University of Belize include, but are not limited to, the admissions department. Um, we all know that admissions are responsible for screening and onboarding of new students, um, as well as transfer transient students. Um, we have the student affairs office that is responsible for student orientation, which basically gives students a thorough walkthrough of what life at the university entails, um, the different services that are offered and everything that a student may need to chart their way or their time through the university. Um, we also have registering, which falls under the registrar's office or the records office, whereby students register for classes via the Exenegrade um, site which is one of the information systems that is utilized by the university. Um, by registering online, students are also able to make payments online, um, through online payment, through the bank, or they can also make payments at any one of the campuses. And then um, we have the records office. So students can apply for a number of services that the university provides. You can apply for transcripts, program change, program completion, withdrawal from a class or a semester. Uh, so continuing with business processes, since the advent of COVID-19, um, I think we could recognize that the university took steps in um, improving businesses, business processes so that services can be accessed by students remotely. Um, we went or we transitioned from a mostly face-to-face -face, um, course delivery to blended and then fully, almost fully online 
classes during that time. The university has managed to maintain online classes as well. They have also made the initiative of providing um, online orientations, online tutorials. So if you're not sure how to register for a class, how to make an online payment, or any service, there is a video on Moodle on the website that could that would demonstrate how to go through these processes. Um, to date, the university has not successfully implemented an online application system, but from what I understand, they attempted one this year, but there was an issue with students um, creating their own Xenograde profile. So I think this is something that is being worked on and will probably be attempted again next year. Um, and then we know that services offered by the records office can be transacted via email. You can simply download whatever form is necessary, fill out your form, send an email and copy in the records department, any representative from the records department. And if a payment is required, you can copy in the accounts receivables office and you are most likely to get a response within 24 hours. Um, politics at the university. So politics we know refers to the competition within the organization. At UB, um, politics is mostly internal. For example, being designated as a department chair or dean comes by way of recommendation and um, faculty deans and chairs change quite often. Um, one downside to this, I would say, is that when these changes occur, students are not always aware of this. So sometimes students are lost when um, they need to contact a chair or dean or if they have a query or a concern that needs to be addressed. Um, this then leads to a turnaround. So um, that is one downside to the frequent changing of um, faculty representatives. Uh, presidents and vice presidents for the university are usually appointed by the Board of Trustees and the Minister of Education. And um, as the previous group mentioned, frequent internal changes may disrupt progress being made um, within the organization and with, when it comes to the implementation of new systems. Yeah, so for the culture, it comp comprises of attitudes, beliefs, and values of the organization. Mm -hmm. And many of these can be seen in UB's vision and the mission statements. Mm -hmm. And there are policies, rules, and regulations by which everyone at the university mm -hmm. believes needs to abide by, whether it be teachers, mm -hmm. the staff, or students. And for students, there are many co-curricular activities available that are meant to provide social skills, intellectual skills, and personality progress that can help in shaping and developing each person at university as it is one of their objectives. And the university, I believe, focuses on meeting the best interests of their customers, which is why they have now implemented more online learning as it is more beneficial for many of the students now, and they enforce professionalism and ensure that their ethical values are kept and implementing information systems would be easy as lecturers and staff are very skilled and highly educated and then we move on to the following slide so the environment at the university of belize um comprises of the physical and social environment we know that in the year 2000, the university, five institutions amalgamated to create the University of Belize. Um, UB now has its main campus in Belmopan, along with three other locations, which include the Belize City Campus, the Central Farm Campus, and the Toledo Campus. Um, they also have the Calabash and Hunting Key sites. Um, the campuses are well-maintained and equipment are serviced and kept up to date. In terms of social environment, the university has a very diversified social environment. We can see that um, if you spend time on campus, you will come across people from all walks of life, from all districts across the country. The university caters to students 
as I just said, from all walks of life. Um, in my personal experience, um, there has been an absence of discrimination. I don't know if I can speak for everybody. I don't think I can, but um, the university tries or it's best to be inclusive. Um, student organizations and clubs ensures that students receive a holistic tertiary level experience. So it's not all about academics. Um, there are travel club, environmental club, photography, the student government, um, math club, chemistry club, physics club, so many options for students. And they also include, um, students also have access to the gym and sports, counseling and nursing services. So management decisions. Management decisions are structured, structured as there is a chain of command for every department at the university. And the University of Belize operates with a board of directors or trustees, and the board is set in place to guide the organization into a very successful path. And management decisions may prove to be very difficult at times, as the chair and dean are constantly dealing with many issues throughout the university. And here we can see that using Xenegrade was um, led to one of the decisions to adding more online classes. As here we could see that the demand for classes by the students was very high, so it was very easy to come to a decision here. And they also provide many other decisions, whether it be for more programs or to include a more affordable tuition cost. Here, um, we just have a breakdown of the different components um, that connect an organization and its information system and how the implementation and utilization of the information system um, affected each component. So in terms of structure, not all individuals use the same system to conduct their duties and tasks. Um, but um, in the recent year or semester since COVID, we can see that the information system, for example, Moodle, which is probably the most um, challenged information system that has been implemented, has been um, is being gra gradually utilized. Um, the Department of Open and Distance Learning has provided students with more um, training sessions. And students as well as faculty and lecturers, there are trainings that um, guide lecturers in how to set up their Moodle page, how to navigate it, how to um, a place an assessment, or even how to um, install a browser on their assessments. So previously, in previous years, we found that a lot of lecturers chose to use different platforms for their course delivery. But um, now we can find that most lecturers are utilizing Moodle um, in terms of business processes. Uh, gradually, and business processes are being gradually accepted and utilized. So more students are taking advantage of um, carrying out their transacting their processes online or remotely. Um, the politics within the organization may disrupt the utilization of information systems for example recently we saw that we had a change in the university's governing body both the board of trustees the chairman change the president change the vice president change so along with those changes um a lot of what was being implemented previously might be put on pause or the direction of the course might change which may hinder the progression of the university may or may not um the culture of the university in terms of that information systems proved to be effective. Um, students seem to be receptive. Um, the environment does not necessarily um, affect the information system, but it is being utilized where necessary. And in terms of management decisions, uh, information systems greatly help when it comes to making decisions when it comes to the progression of the university. So now let's look at 
the um, website. So I guess you're off from me. Shayan, your mic is still on. Thank you. So all of us are familiar with these websites and I believe all of us have utilized it before. So this website that you'll be offered are Zenigrade, Modo, and Google Suite. So let's look at Zenigrade. It's easy to use and user friendly. Students can easily sign up for courses on this um, platform. They can choose a date, a time, and a specific lecture they like to um, take the course with. Students are, avail are able sorry, to see courses from feeder institutions that are transferable. Um, they can see this on their um, printed report. They can also sign up for, um, sorry, they can also download forms, for example, withdrawal forms, um, internship application forms. Um, what else? Yeah, and sorry, guys. Yes, they can download these forms um, on this platform. So let's talk about the drawback about this platform. So Zenigrade, um, when it's time to, I'll talk about my experience. So when it's time to sign up for courses, um, Zenigrade moves really, really slow, right? And sometimes not all the courses that you need to take or are available pops up on your portal. So sometimes you need to go and go into records and sort out that um, problem. Now let's look at Moodle. So Moodle is an educational platform that hosts students engaging in courses. So even if you're new to UB and it's your first time using um, Moodle, they have um, a platform where, which is called eLearning. And there they show how to maneuver um, Moodle step-by-step -step guide is provided. And by the end of each um, session, you um, receive a certificate. So the University of Belize offer online courses and in-class courses. Moodle allows students to chart their grades, message with other message with others do online courses post assignments and so forth so as my colleague mentioned before not um like sometimes the grades are not accurate on moodle so it's when you think you're getting an a sometimes when the grade report comes out you got a b plus right and not all lecturers upload grades on moodle and not all lecturers use Moodle as well. Some of the lecturers use Zoom. And sometimes I think it's really um, inconvenient because Mood, um, Zoom sorry, only gives us 40 minutes. So sometimes when the 40 minutes is up, we need to step out and then log back into class, which I think wastes a lot of time. Right? And lastly, Moodle is straightforward, easy to use and user friendly. So Google Suite, so it's very easy to use and user-friendly, clear and excellent communication between teacher and student happens. It is accessible 24 seven. All of UB lecturers use, um, utilize it. While some lecturers use Google Meeting, others use Zoom to conduct class. Um, it's beneficial for students especially those for those students who don't have that Microsoft Office package um, downloaded on their computer. They can easily go online, go on Google Suite and do a doc or um, Google Slide and so on and so forth. And of course, this is free of cost. So let's look at the ratings. So we read Xenigrade as effective um, because of the problem we have when um, it's time to sign up for courses and we believe it's an asset model. We rate it um, medium because not all lecturers use um, this website. It's also an asset to the university as well and Google Suite. 
we rate it as extremely successful because we don't have any problem with it. It's always accessible and both teachers and students use it without any problem. And lastly, it's an asset to, to the university. So that's what this wraps up our presentation. Here are our references. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you, group number four. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you can go ahead and put in the grades for this group while group number five gets ready to share their screen. Once again, I've pasted the form in the chat just in case somebody came in after class, after we took the attendance. All right, group number five, you may proceed. Good evening, class. Me and my group members, Kara Montejo, Daniel Mangar, Sandra Teul, and myself, Kelly Flores, are presenting on the on identifying opportunities for strategic information systems. Um, good evening, class. Um, we'll start with the description of the um, university's features. So the first one is business structure. The business structure um, for the University of Belize is governed by two entities, the Board of Trustees and the Administrative and academic part on the um executive side the um the board of which is the board of trustees the chain of command starts from the chairman vice chairman representatives from each ministry to the president now on the academic side the president is the highest in authority followed by department the department heads to deans and to managers Next slide, please. So this is just the um the the organizational ch chart, um which starts from the per like I mentioned, president, vice president, then the dean and chairs of each four faculties, and below that we have the lecturers and students. Some of the business process in, at the University of Belize, as we all have been talking about, um, which is the admissions. Um, some of others at records um, are application for completion of program, um, defer deferral form, um, late withdrawal form, internship application, program change, and resignation from UB. Um, most of these, um, Forms can be picked up at a records office, and once you pick them pick them up, you can fold them up and you either um, drop it off um, at campus or you can just email email it to the emails that they provide you with.
So um, politics um, in relation with um, information system, um, we see um, the departments such as tourism management, pu public sector management. Um, recently, they, um, we saw that they were offering only online courses. So they, so we see that the um, that these programs they have power over other programs that offer face-to-face -face classes and organizational politics they refers to the process and individual within the organization acquire or display power over others and we also um see that um employees may um, compete for higher ranks within the organization such as dean or chair for each faculty Um, the culture at the University of Belize, um, it's a multi-campus. Um, and also um, when it comes to to the quizzes and um tests, Moodle is is being used by lecturers. Um the environment of univer the University of Belize, it has four campuses um, where students can access them. Um, um, also, um, the use of information technology is being used so that students can learn online and lecturers are able to deliver their information easily. The decision management manage um, decisions are made at the top level, um, which is a chair or uh, or dean, and then communicated to the lower level. Good night, everyone. Um, we will be presenting on UB platforms. So the importance of online information systems is that they are not only used for the purpose of storing data, but also for the purpose of retrieving, retrieving and analyzing data. The use of online information systems has increased in recent years due to the development in technology. And we can all see that from the University of Belize. Um, once uh, there was a time when well, I knew that when I applied to the University of Belize, I submitted a hard copy of for the application. And now I when viewing it back, I can see my younger cousins who are applying to the University of Belize, download the application and upload back the application through an email system and have them be reviewed within a matter of days and having to wait weeks for a response back from the university. This has been done through various technological advancements such as computer networking, internet, mobile phones, etc. These technologies have introduced a new way to communicate with each other and also to communicate, to connect people from different parts of the country together. When we look at Haiti, we can use um, Zenagrade, which provides student management software for registration, enrollment, and tracking. I can be located in one of the most remote areas within Belize, and I can have access to my grades with just the internet connection and an electronic device. I would recommend it to anyone and every institution to use it. It's one of the most simplest advanced um, platforms of information system that you can use. Online information systems are very important because it provides access to all types of data which can be used by any organization or individual who, want, who wants this kind of service. When we look at Moodle, Moodle actively plugin implemented based on two keys, providing AI based on smart tools for delivering open resources such as during the course session. We have Moodle to access all the information for course learning and detail-oriented learning. Teachers and students have access to resources where we can have a broader knowledge base and share of information between each other. Could you please change the next slide? And the other key is involving the tools through the usage-based approaches rather than focusing on the user data. 
The aim of the blogging is to provide the teachers and students with the best learning experience. The Moodle is one of the easiest platform to be oriented with. We can use the platform to view resources, upload works and download resources. It's a highly recommended base for information systems. Um, Google Apps. There, um, with it, anyone can have access to Google Apps, and the University of Belize has made it very simple to give us an account with a also with a YouTube account, and um, providing us with the standard base of information and providing us with access to apps and information systems that are very that are very informative and very easy to access, such as Google Slides. All of us use Google Slides um, to present our resources on. All of us use Google Docs. That's easier to share and have communications between information instead of having to upload a Word document to an email and email out to our friends or to our fellow group members to have them upload their information. We can have a Google Doc within seconds. We can all be sharing information, communicating, having this cross section of login information within the, within seconds. It's a highly recommended platform as well. Can you please change the next slide? Yes, uh, so the whole experience of UB's information system. The experience of using a website is the user's perception of how easy it, use, it is to use the website. This can be measured by asking questions such as, how much time did I spend on the website? How long did it take you to find what you're looking for? And it's very simple. The University of Belize website and Moodle pages, um, admission pages, or any app page which you use for the university is very accessible. We have them through various platforms. I can just type in the University of Belize if I want to go to my student portal. I can visit my student portal. I can see my grades that I registered for. I can see the sections that I am in. And I can also view the different courses that are there for me to apply for and the, the resonated information based on application process, the different forms that I can download and different forms to use for information basis. And did you have any problems with this website? Um, to be honest, every website has its complications and every website are not perfect. We all have different base for web, web, website um, processes. And what do you think about the website? So for the University of Belize website, either it be Moodle website or the university-based website, it's one of the most intellectual and colorful website to use when viewing the University of Belize's information. There you can view everything from past presidents, past students, the expectations and the recognition of students from the alumni association within the University of Belize. And to get the most out of a website, it is important to understand what makes for successful use. A good starting point is to ask yourself how often you visit the website and whether or not you find it useful. If your answer is not very often, then there are probably some things that you could be done to the University of Belize website, but the University of Belize is very young, it's very young information technology, and to see it at this stage, it's also a fast developing university to cater for students across the country. Um, okay, good night. Um, so the successful implementation of the information system. So by offering online, um, Teachers and students meet on either Zoom or Google Meet, and it's really up to the teachers to decide which um, application they decide to use. And so when it comes to Google Suite apps, they're both used by teachers and students to create PowerPoints, documents, reports by using Google Forms, Google Slides, Google Docs, and the list goes on. So um, students upload assignments via Moodle from anywhere they are. So I could literally, well, in real time, I'm in Corazal, and some of you guys can be all the way in PG, Belmopan, Belize City. And um, it doesn't really matter the location that you are. Moodle is um, proven to be successful when it comes to um, 
being able to upload assignments, being able to do, get your tests done, um, your location doesn't matter because it's really um, in the cloud. And um, teachers receive the assignments and they can grade them. Some of these assignments or some of these test quizzes are automated. So it's really um, proven to be successful as well when it comes to, um, for teachers, um, it's an advantage to them because they just have to basically go online, um, go on Moodle, create a quiz or a test. And um, if it's fully multiple choice or true and false, or they can have the answers already there um, on Moodle. And then um, upon completion of the test or the quiz or assignment, you receive your automated grade. Um, so Moodle and ODL will upload the grades on um, the grade subpage and you can be able to view it there on Moodle. Um, the Zen Zenigrade, um, once you complete your courses, um, you can, as students, you can visit Zenigrade to register for upcoming courses and pay the fees that are due. So it's really, um, the Zenigrade as well has been proven successful um, because of the process that it has, whereby um, you can view your courses that were transferred for you if you're a transfer student. You're able to view um, courses that you are enrolled for currently and um, your report you can view and there are fees that you have to pay or your um, outstanding balance. You are able to view all of these in real time. Um, again, from anywhere in uh, part of the world, you can say that you are. And um, teachers can also be reached via Moodle where there is an instant chat or you can reach them as well on um, the Google Gmail, that's Google Suite app. And um, um, so Moodle has a messaging feature, as I mentioned, and you're able to contact your teachers in case of there's any issue or concern. So a downfall for this would be, um, or per se a disadvantage would be that, um, a personal um, example is that when I began, um, it was very complicated for me to be able to navigate through, um, not necessarily the Google Suite app, but when it comes to Zenigrade, um, there, there are certain things or features per se that I'm not really familiar with because of the institution, the educational institution that I came from. They didn't have this application or this website in this information system, sorry, in, in place. So it was really complicated for me to be able to, as a first time user, to be able to know um, how to log in or where I am supposed to go to get my courses that I'm supposed to take and all of this. So it was um, challenging for me. And I'm pretty sure that as first time users, that's the only disadvantage that they see. But after the um, months pass, you get used to it and it's very easy and it's successful. Um, it's successfully implemented by the University of Belize. How UB's organizational features contribute to the success of these systems? Information system and organizations influence one another. The interaction between UB's website and the University of Belize itself is complex and is influenced by many mediating factors, including UB's structure, standard operating procedures, politics, culture, and surrounding environment and management decision. UB's organizational features have contributed to the success of the University of Belize website. Structure. UB has kept updated with its organizational structure since a hierarchy of authority has been established. Business process. UB has become very often efficient over the years because employees have developed a standard operating process for providing services to the students from an online setting. As employees learn to use these processes, they become highly productive and efficient. Students can follow precise instructions or procedures to virtually deal with any expected situation. Politi politics. People at UB occupy different positions with different specialities, concerns, and perspectives. As, as a result, they naturally have different views on how resources, rewards, and punishment should be distributed. These different matters to manager, these differences matters to managers and employees, resulting in political struggle, 
for research sources, competition, and conflict within the UB's organization. UB's managers have learned to work with politics within the organization and have a successfully implemented new information systems, including Moodle and Zengrid. Culture. Organizational culture is a set of fundamental beliefs about what the organization should pro pro produce the pro and the product, the students in this case. Organizational structure, culture, sorry, is a powerful unifying force that restrains political conflicts and promotes common understanding agreements on procedures and common practices. UB's organizational culture has promoted techni technological change indeed in, instead of restraining it. This has contributed to the success of its website and other online resources. Environment. Environments generally change much faster than the organization. A perfect example of how information and technology has influenced UB's environment is online school. Through the use of UB's platform, Moodle, students were able to adapt to environmental change that was COVID-19. Management decisions. Managers are the ones who decide which systems are built, what they do, and how they will be implemented. UB's managers have an understanding that the information systems can change the social life of its organization. They have made the proper decisions necessary for students to navigate through the website with minimal issues. And that is the end of our presentation. Thank you all for listening. Group number five, go ahead and tally their points while group number six gets ready to share. All right, group number six, you may begin. Good evening. Or good night, everyone. Um, meanwhile, my group member Shamika is getting ready to present. I will do a slight um, icebreaker. I'm not sure if we have time, but I'll still go ahead and do it. So I, I'd like um, to have at least two persons state what they um, what is their favorite thing about Miss Ladine's MIS class. What do you find um, that they like about her class? Can I um, say something? Sure, yes. Um, go ahead. Yes, one thing I've noticed, which I appreciate a lot from Ms. Nadine's class, is the, um, the opportunity she gives us to voice our opinions, not only in the lectures, but within each other's performance and evaluation. That's something I appreciate, because it does not only give us a um, 
a viewpoint of, you know, her viewpoint, but the viewpoint of the whole class and how they, um, how they saw our presentations or whatever is it that we do. So that's mostly appreciated. You know, their, in, in their interactivity on a whole is really good. Okay, thank you. And we'll just go ahead with the presentation due to the time. So Shamika, you can go ahead. Good night, one and all. Okay. An overview of UWE. Of UWE. The University of Police was created on August 1st, 2000 through the merger of five institutions that delivered quality education at an affordable rate. UB is the nation's leading educational institution that strives to enable national development and academic advancement and improvement of an improved standard of living and quality of life. Next. The University of Belize website is a valuable web-based tool that assists students and visitors to access and navigate UB's information systems to learn helpful in information. The website provides links to Zenigrade, Moodle, UB email, apply now, calendar of events, finance assistance, career UB, and virtual tours. The University of Belize has an hierarchical structure with professional bureaucracy that focuses on the knowledge based on the experience knowledge based on the expertise of professionals to provide service through teaching. UB Chain of Command uses the top-down approach where levels of authorities and responsibilities are defined. Decisions on what, on what information system is used is passed down and implemented by lecturers. We think this is a failure in a liability because UB has a chain of command where all rules and policies are implemented, but not all lecturers follow what the university implement Rather, they use an information system they are more comfortable with. Next, please. Business process. UB has several business processes like administration, information management, human resources, finance, information technology, and academics. Good evening, class. So um, the politics at UB. The politics at UB is competitive as it involves power and authority. Staff and students are easily influenced based on their views or that of their peers. Staff is elected as dean based on votes. Therefore, they, are, they compete with, with each other to be most popular and liked. Also, when implementing new business models, many resist change, causing information systems to fail within um, UB. An example of this would be when UB introduced the online learning technique at the beginning of 2020 due to the pandemic. At first, many lecturers and students were reluctant to use the approach as they were unfamiliar with it and, it didn't, and they didn't think that it would um, be beneficial to learning. Next slide, please. The culture at UB is providing tertiary level learning to students. They achieve this through their mission, statement, and goals. They are focused on providing students with quality education so that after graduating, they can implement their knowledge and skills in the business or organization that they choose to work. UB strives to guide students in the right direction of being prominent citizens. To make learning easier and accessible to students, UB implements and utilizes information systems causing its culture to change. Next, please. The environment of U UB is laid back and open and convenient, whereby students can access higher education at various locations, creating positive attitudes and motivations for students' learning, academic achievements, and pro-social behavior. 
The online environment allows students and lecturers to connect and engage with each other via the information systems used. Next, please. UB is governed by a board of trustees and led by officials of administrative and academic leadership. Decisions are voted upon by the board and implemented through leadership committees and faculty deans. With the information gathered from the ISUs, the management level can make decisions by, provo by providing a different approach to teaching, advising students on their potential, updating business processes when necessary, and rewarding staff and students for their outstanding performance. Next, please. Now we will look at the information systems that UB utilizes. Moodle is a free open source learning management system, LMS, platform designed to help educators create effective online learning. Moodle makes teaching much easier as both teachers and students have access anywhere, anytime with internet access. The University of Belize utilizes Moodle to improve learner engagement and execute remote learning efforts. From our personal experience, we rate this IS to be successful as it is more convenient to submit assignments and receive feedback automatically, especially regarding quizzes and tests. Not all lecturers use this Moodle though, and they don't post grades to, in the course they teach. So um, if a student wants feedback from an assignment or um, research, research or whatever, they would have to reach out to the lecturer to get a grade. Also, for many first-time users, UB created an online orientation for Moodle, which included assessments that they had to complete and pass before giving full access to their course. This was helpful as it provided an insight to the IS that they were unfamiliar with. Next, please. Zenigrade. Zenigrade or Student Portal is a student registration management system software. UB uses this platform for registration and providing course details, grade reports, relevant information, and updates to students. This information is user-friendly and easily accessible, but unreli unreliable during registration to the influx of users. We rate this IS to be a fail on personal experiences. This is due to having issues when registering for a course. The system occasionally, occasionally moves slow and there are technical difficulties to add class to cart. Also, if there is a change with your course, such as the date, time, and lecture, you aren't notified and are unaware until signing into your account and viewing your course. Um, I have experienced this when I registered for one of my courses. The date, time, and the lecture had changed without me knowing um, until I signed into my account a couple days later. And this was stressful for me because I had to change a class and find one that was available within the time frame that I wanted and um, was suitable for me. I work, so yeah. Google, um, next slide, please. Google App Suite. UB, UB utilizes Google, Google App Suites for a faster collaborative workspace for students and lecturers. Google Workspace allow email, shared calendars, online document editing and storage, video meetings, chat spaces, Google Sites, and Google Classroom for easy and user-friendly collaboration between students and lecturers. Many students find this medium reliable to share work through this medium as it is readily available by just signing into their email accounts. They are able to work simulta simultaneously, which have been, which we have been, sorry, which we have been doing every time preparing a PowerPoint presentation, Word Docs, and Google Sites. We rate this IS to be successful also, one group member can create a doc or PowerPoint and give access to their peers to add and edit information and also give the lecture view access, which they use to see how far along the students are and also um, provide feedback to them without even being asked. Next slide, please. So we have created a table to, for the um, organizational features and state whether these are a success or failure to the ISUs and if it is an asset or liability to the University of Belize. So for the business structure, we state that it's a, um, it is a failure 
the and it is also a liability. The business process is a failure um, and liability. The politics is a failure and liability. And the culture, environment, and manage management decision is a success. And the business strategy you will be using is to create student enrollment in order to meet its financial goals. They also afford they also offer avail affordable and accessible education nationwide via the four campuses and online classes. Students find this quite reliable, especially those who work. For example, I am working an eight to five job and prefer attending online classes to the, as going to um, the UB campuses in Belize, Belize City, as it would have been strenuous for me. Therefore, the strategy is successful. However, um, when it comes to the technology that UB uses and the information systems, Um, sorry. Right yes, yeah, so UB needs to upgrade and implement more IS to flow smoothly and efficiently. There are many downfalls and disruptions and that students encounter, which causes frustration and a lot of turning around. As noted, when implementing a new IS, the entire structure of the organization must change in order for it to be successful. As we have outlined, Three of the four features are a liability UB, which indicates they must change in order for the IS to be successful. And um, this concludes our presentation. Thank you. Thank you, group six. We're gonna have to do group seven when we meet again because it's past the time. But I'm gonna ask you guys to quickly call it a grade for this group. And then when we meet again, it's going to be to have our final presentation.